Hey everyone and welcome to the Infinite Respawn Podcast. I'm Chicken. I'm Oak Tree. I'm Griff. Nah, I'm Bucket. So guys. What up? So how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. You know. How's it going? Well, um, I've I've got a couple of phasmophobia stories that I'm gonna share. I don't know if Baka and Chicken have anything to add to it since, you know, it's basically WoW and Phasmophobia and that's my life. Oh, and House Flipper. Um less exciting though. But we were doing a, a a ghost hunt, and it was me and Red and Baka and Chicken, and that's who it always is. Those are the always the four. Never expect anybody else. But we were trying to get this, or well, Baka and Chicken were trying to get this ghost to manifest because we needed to get a picture of it. And uh, it was the house where, like, as soon as you open the front door, it's like the smallest house. As soon as you open the front door, there's like a little end table with um some picture for uh, pictures and a coffee cup and things like that on there. Um. And then they were in, or like, basically you go down the hall into the living room and around the corner into the kitchen. They were in the kitchen and trying to get this thing to manifest. And we had had no luck. It was being the most docile ghost ever. And Red and I are standing at the front door like the chickens that we are because occasionally we'll put our foot in so don't, that we know we're in the house. Don't insult me like that, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> you are not as brave as me. Fine, the children that we are in this game. And uh, Red goes... Hey, sometimes if you take the items out of the house um, or throw them, it'll make the ghost mad because they're like competition. And so I picked up, I was like, oh, really? I've never tried that. I picked up the picture that was on the front, the, the little thing. Like, basically, I took one step in the house and picked it up and tossed it onto the ground. And the door shutting in my face pushed me back out of the house because it immediately started the hunt and killed chicken. Red made me kill chicken with a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Which? When did I die? I think I only died one time last night. Which it was wasn't last one? night. It was during the week. It was. I think it was oh, after well, rain yeah. on Thursday. Um, that well, yeah, because you you died a, another time where like the the ghost went went from like one one end of the house <laughs> uh, upstairs to the other and, it and directly him. Be, be lined like ch chicken went to, to go hide and, and the, the ghost is like nope you're dying yes it went and, and looked for him <laughs> and that was the it, one it, that it after even, it killed red it, it didn't even look it, it just went right to him and, and killed him yeah. Yeah. yeah it spawned up and killed red earlier in that night and then after we got a picture of him I was going down the stairs and as I was going towards the front door it started again immediately and I was like what in the fuck so I take off all the way to the other side of the house and it was a good like 15 20 seconds of it being safe i was like all right cool and then and then since uh, red was dead he can watch the ghost he's like okay it's still upstairs it's in the hallway it's in the hallway still oh it's going down the stairs and i was like oh no he's like okay it's in the foyer okay it's in the living room and i was like no <laughs> it's going to the back bedroom it just went through the door and i was like i'm in the i'm in the bathroom in here and he's like it's going it's going into the bathroom yeah it's got you and i was like are you serious that son of a bitch went straight for me like it's like i know where you're at <laughs> Because they usually like, don't, how? like, they'll lose visual contact relatively easily so that you have a chance to get away. And usually, if you've put a couple of doors between you and them, they are not going to come looking for you. But that one was like, this guy. I want this guy specifically. <laughs> oh, man. So, Bro, Red made me kill him. Up. That happened. I uh, know. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a pretty crazy, like, that game, I Chicken and I were discussing why we're so into this game specifically and it's because chicken's right it's because it's been a while like since left for dead that we've had a four player game that the four of us can really just like jump into and bullshit around for a little while and it'd be fun and it's dynamic enough that it keeps keeps attention because it is dynamic like that that ghost chase chicken down it's never happened like that before last night Chicken and Baka were like, their mics weren't being picked up by the spirit box or something. Like, it, the <laughs> game wasn't picking them up, and Red had already left for the night. And it was, luckily, this ghost was, it was the farmhouse that the dining room is right inside the front door. Like, basically, you walk in the front door and turn to the left, and there's the dining room. And so we have all of our supplies just thrown into the floor there. It's like the EMF's laying next to the spirit box that's on, next to the book and everything. And they're like, you're gonna have to provoke it. I'm like, uh, no, I'm not. Uh... <laughs> They're like, yeah, you gotta go in the room and get it mad. I was like, the spirit box can hear me from the front door. 
Because I know we, we were, <laughs> earlier we were in a small house and I threw the spirit box down at the front door while Chicken was talking. The ghost started talking to him from the front door and he was like across the house. So I was like, nah, no, you don't. I can talk to him from right here. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, no, you have to go in the room. They were trying so hard to make me go into the house. And I was like, no. Nope. I would love to see you as a real ghost hunter. You'd be like, I'm in looking through the window now. And I see. <laughs> that's it. I've I mean, actually done me. that, too. I've been outside the window uh, and looked and watched like, other people get attacked. Uh, uh, as soon as the uh, cop moves, though, she she's going to go back to the van. Yeah, I mean, that's Yeah. Me. I have Ooh. done that, though, the looking through the window thing, because there's that one house that has that blue bedroom right in the front where you can stand street level and look in. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've done that. And then what's even worse is not is a, thinking that Baka and Red are in the house with Chicken, and you have a camera set up in that room that can see the window, and all of a sudden somebody moves outside the window, and you're not ready for it. <laughs> like, Baka <laughs> and Red are trolls when it comes to staring in the window. Oh, but I did get that ghost in the, the dining room from the front door, by the way. I think it killed one of them. Did you both no, look through that? Was that not the no, one that no. you died in? Okay. There was the no, one no. in that it, same it farmhouse was, that you died in. The, it, it was the, the one before uh, Red left. It, it, we were in the kitchen, and, and I, I was standing with the, the, the smudge stick outside. Chicken what was trying to aggro, and... and yeah, she, she spawned up. We, we ran to the... the the uh, office, I, I guess, is what it is in the, the front the, part the of the den house. area. Yeah, yeah and, and she, she was just like, I, I don't care if you have a smudge stick. I, I don't care. Yeah, if you lit it, to, threw it, to, to, and, and she hunted and, and killed me. To be fair, you made the critical mistake of walking <laughs> towards that back door. If you would have been where Red was when she hunted, you would have been fine. But you were a split second. Because I walked out of that door and I was like, oh no, Baka's not here. I'm fucked. Oh shit. And then I turn around and he's coming through the door after me. And I was like, how did you get behind me? You're supposed to be <laughs> in front of me. And then she's like, hey, a door. Hey, Baka, you're dead. <laughs> or no, no, I made it into that room, though, with you. But yeah, you were you a little too in. late. <laughs> well, no, he should have been in front of me, but because he was behind me, she saw him by the time that she was already spawned. That, that's why, because it's it's a very specific way, because that's why when Red was behind in front of me and we got in that room, we were both fine. But Baka was like, oh, I've got time. I've got a second. But as soon as he touched that door, she's like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You did. <laughs> I'm coming for you, boy. <laughs> and she got right on him. Look, let's talk about the amount of times this week, too, that there has been a... Red has been in the house during a hunt. The ghost spawns up, and he just stands there. Like, why? You're not hiding. You're just down the hall from it. Oh, my God. And at one point, because the ghost can hear you. The game can hear you, like, especially when it's hunting. It had spawned up, and I'm watching on the camera, and the ghost is down the hall from him, looking in a different direction from him, and Red's like, I'm just gonna die. I mean, if he would have shut up and stood there, he probably would have lived. But instead, he's like, hey, ghost, and starts yelling at it. I'm like, he's like, I'm dead. I'm like, really? Really? I think, do you think it decided to come after you? Uh, he's like, well, I was gonna die anyway. I was like, I wasn't even looking at you. If you would have shut up, it would have been fine. And instead, me, me I had to watch all, you die. Me, me and Red all, also like to play with the Ouija board a lot. Mm-hmm. You're walking through, like, like, Chicken and I are walking through the house because he's got the thermometer and I'm going to put a camera down wherever he can find the ghost room. And all of a sudden you hear, how old are you? It's like, are y'all playing with a Ouija board really already? Because that can, like, with certain, I think it's the demon, If you even if you're on amateur and you have that five minute window, if you start playing with the Ouija board, it cuts that timer off and can immediately hunt. It's like, stop it. I am in the (laughs) house still. Let me get out before you do this. I don't care what you do after I leave the premises. (laughs) I, I don't think Gri- Griff has died once in this game. I have not. Shut up. Let's not talk about it. You got you gotta knock on some wood. I just did. <laughs> it's hard to do. It's it's hard to do from the van though. Hey, right? I go in, in at the, the very house. beginning, that, and sometimes that, I will go the goal. in to bring that, them that's stuff. That's the goal of the Ouija board, though. Is to get her to die. <laughs> She, she's got got to do it at, at least once. No. Or, 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 or uh, I, I think, well, but here's the thing, though. Isn't she the one buying everything? Yeah. Like, she's using hey, her money to buy uh, everything. Uh, so that way she survives of, and you all don't money. lose anything, right? Hold on. We all have so much fucking money, it doesn't even matter. But that's not the like, point, I could buy, I could buy 20 of everything and still have thousands of dollars left over. That is Same not thing the with point. everybody else. 
Like, it, at this point, it doesn't matter if she dies and loses it. Because, one, you get half your money back. And, two, everybody is so goddamn loaded at this point. We're, we're like, a <laughs> level 150. Uh, Baka's creeping up to level 200 now. Like, I mean, we've got... It doesn't matter if anybody dies at this point. We've got plenty of reserves. Yeah, I asked I asked Griff the other day. I was like, what level are you now? Because she was, she was telling me the story of a chicken dying. And, um... Which is funny the second time as much as it was the first, by the way. Um, <laughs> but she was telling me this story of you dying. And I was like, what level are you now? Like, you know, like 40, 30 something? What are you all at now? Like, you're all playing all the time. I randomly get a, a message later on that night that just says level 85 because you asked. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. He's like, are you like level 35 <laughs> or something? I was like, I don't even know. I don't look at it. And that's why I looked. No. No, that uh, levels you're... don't matter. Once you you hit like level like what, eight, eight or nine, that, it's ten. Ten is the, when the... you can unlock the last thing. Yeah, ten. The okay. the head cam. After that, it it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah he needs yeah. to he needs to change that a little bit or make the game more difficult the higher your level gets. Or oh, we've like talked that. a lot well, about to suggestions be fair, that you could implement. It does. Oh, yeah, the, his Discord it's filled with suggestions. To be fair, it does feel like the game gets more difficult. The the it's not just the ghosts aren't centralized to a room as much. Like there there are more like hallways into rooms. Like the roaming yeah, style is. Ghosts last night. Yeah, like it, they, they, they randomly become... attack you when you're way far away from them, and your friend can follow them all the way. <laughs> all right, first of all, <laughs> yes. motherfuckers, th this shit like Baka was coming in the house behind me. It was the small Edgefield house. It was the ghost in the kitchen. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go see if I can get a picture of this. I walked into the house. And it's the one with the uh, the closet at the very end. And the closet door was open because Griff was hiding it because we were trying to get it riled up. And it wasn't doing anything, so the closet door was open. And I walked into the house, and I took two steps. And that motherfucker fully manifested in front of the closet door. And I was like, click, all right, I'm out, fuck this. <laughs> like, he was, he was supposed to be in the kitchen, but he was waiting for me to step yeah. into the house in front of me. And I was like, oh, hell no. And I just walked right out. And Buck was like, where are you going? And I was like, he's right there. I ain't doing this right now. Yeah. Ah. Had, there was one. It was me and you and Baka. Red was, I think he'd already gone to bed. And I was standing in the front door because literally once we're so far into the the investigation that is as far as I will go because I know what's going to happen. Like, I will put my foot in long far enough that I know if the front door slams on my face, it's going to push me out, push my character model out when it does it. And Chicken and Baca had a Ouija board in the middle of the hallway right there. It was that little house. And you were in that hall, like, in the side hallway, and Baca was in the main hallway trying to get it to manifest. And it had already manifested behind me. That was the night that it popped in right behind me when we first started putting stuff in. And I was like, I don't want to do this. I'm watching y'all play with the Ouija board, and she pops up, like, basically there's chickens in this little side hallway, and then there's the main hallway, so there's a little wall that's right next to Baca and Chicken. She popped up right there, next to the Ouija board. She was like, hey, bitches, I heard you wanted to talk. I'm like, I don't want to see it. I'm out. She was scary. <laughs> she was close. Ooh. I don't like it. <laughs> Chicken's like, let me get the camera. I'm like, no, run. It wasn't a hunt. Like, every time but I still. hear her manifest, I just start running with the camera. I'm like, where are you at? Where are you, where are you? <laughs> I've got to say the the uh, the coding for the the little girl ghost without the face it's terrifying. First of we all, we have like two it's pictures so... of him run, or it running at chicken, like running at him. Yeah, the first one is in that same house, and it was in the basement. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can get a picture. And you go down the staircase, and then you go to the right, and then it's kind of like an instant U-turn. It goes right down to the the other part of the basement. So I mm -hmm. turn with my camera, and I said her name. And the lights flickered, and she spawned at the far end of the basement and literally just started running straight at me. I eat because I was like, oh, shit. I've, I've got that And picture. it fucking ran. I took a picture real quick, and I turned around and ran. I was like, oh, my God, are you serious? Because that was the first time I've actually seen them run at me. So I was like, oh, shit. Put this in this, this yeah, ain't the funny. Little girl we had, the little girl we had in the... Um, uh, like when you go in, it's got the the kitchen and the dining room to the left or whatever, and then you mm -hmm. got the stairs that are kind of to the right, and then you got a hallway in front of you. So, literally, her spot was the doorway, mm. and and so we walk in, and immediately the EMFs go, Wee! yeah, <laughs> like, okay, what do we do here? So, um, I had gone upstairs because we were trying to explore and do all that type of stuff, and I was coming downstairs, and front door shuts. 
one of our dudes is standing at the door and I just see a little girl come running across the attack. And I was like, I don't have a camera. I'm sorry. You're dead. I'm going to hide. I put it, <laughs> I put it in the IR Discord or the uh, IR channel in Chicken's Discord Oak if you wanted to see that picture. <laughs> Which, oh, yes. Oh, I my did. God. That's so <laughs> creepy. Yeah, like I've been um, taking because uh, sometimes they can't see the picture, so I'll take a picture on it with my phone and then send it in Discord. Yeah, the so game doesn't put it. the pictures I've, of the ghosts in my book for me. Like it puts them in there, but it's either a black picture or there's no anything in it. It's just the scenery for some reason. I've I've gotten some seriously incredible pictures so far. Yeah. And the um, but the funny part was is somebody else died at that same doorway, so we had two dead bodies sitting in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like stacking them. Yeah, well, and you know they don't. When they die, they die in the weird poses. Yeah, they don't really mm. die, die. You know, like yeah, they don't just so fall like, down. Eh, yeah, eh, they're ridiculous. You know? <laughs> so they're like stuck half in a wall, like weird shit. Oh. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> so good. I didn't realize that two of the pictures that I have in the Discord are both with red right next to the ghost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and like red's just wandering and it spawns up next to him. I'm like, oh cool, pick. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is like on the other side of the bed, and it's like, big. Red's like, <laughs> all I can see because I'm on the uh, Phasmophobia Reddit, and the main thing that everybody does when they edit uh, any of the pictures is they put those big eyes on <laughs> the characters. So it's like, <laughs> red with oh, like googly eyes. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's. You know what though? That would be a like a just a like a on like April Fool's Day have it to where they have googly eyes. Oh my eyes. god. Yes, please. <laughs> oh god. Oh. I want and, that and make so some bad. Of them, make some of them like the springy ones, like they have the springs behind them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Please, that would be so great. I love that this game is so dynamic that it keeps our attention. It's just, yes. it's fun. I can't wait to see how how he builds this game because he's already got his map. He's already got his next map working. The prison. So and he. I yeah, want a he's, restaurant. It's, pretty, it's coming along. I want well. a restaurant it's map. Because well. uh -huh. that wouldn't I be just huge. Think, uh, is there a theater? Haunted hotel. No. Yes. Oh, a theater would be super good. Yeah, because I, the I, only I reason the I problem... think about it is because like the Bama Theater here in town is supposed haunted. to be haunted, right? So I think it would be cool to have like this whole storyline of of someone that an actor that hung themselves or some stupid shit in the background, you know, whatever it happens to be like, you have this whole story and like, Oh, it'd be great. To, like, See, and I was just thinking going, about right. it. Cause you'd, you'd have that big level of, you know, sight line because you'd have that main room, the theater part of it. And then the backstage area would be mm -hmm. where all the small closed off rooms are. But right. if you have it to where the lights are off for the whole time, like you can't turn the main lights on in the theater, you can turn like running lights on um, for the ground maybe, then you would be able to have like three separate blocks worth of that theater that he could, or your ghost could be in. So it's technically that you've made his big room into three small rooms. So it's made it open, but that doesn't make it easier to see the ghost. You can't be like, hey, he's on or, the stage. I don't have to go over there or, now. Well, but maybe, maybe you're in the main room. And one of the effects for that particular ghost is lights you can't control all of a sudden cut on, like spotlights. Oh, uh, yeah, and things that like that on cool. the stage, right? Yeah. To be fair, like, they already do that. Like, they can fucking turn on lights. Yeah, but I mean, you I guess can yeah, but I'm saying these are ones you don't have control yeah. of at all. Like, you as a yeah. person in the yeah, game cannot flip on these off. on and off, so they just randomly turn Which on. Which, let me say, our friends turn turning on and off breakers when I'm trying to bring stuff in is really mean, Baka. I'm just saying. I do it too. You don't I do, do it. it too. Baca Whatever doesn't. I... Nobody messes with people as much as Baca does, though. That's like his thing. Just wants to make me cry. It's true. That it, is... It's mostly red that that I mess with. That's true. Yeah. But you do it to me too. I, I don't know. mess with chicken as much or, or you, but like red, red <laughs> like I'll, I'll go around and, and randomly shut do doors behind him. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> like, I, okay, first of all, my favorite thing to do with Red is that if he comes, because I'm usually the normal, I'm the lead investigator, is when he'll follow me into the room, and most of the time, whenever it's a lone ghost and he starts trying to 
to investigate, I will like just kind of walk behind him and then shut off the lights and close the door and leave the house. <laughs> and he's like, oh, hell no, you are not doing that to me. And he just instantly goes and he's like, he just leaves. He's like, fuck that. I'm not being in here alone. Last night, on, he backed out of the front door. Like he was trying to ask the spirit box questions and I think it replied to him or something. So he backed out of the front door, but he backed up and Baka was behind him and he didn't know Baka was there, but Baka was close enough to be able to grab the door because, you know, you don't see your character's hands do it. So Baka grabs the right. front door and slams it in his face. Oh, my God. He freaked out. Baka's, like, giggling to himself. It was so funny. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. We're having a lot of fun with that game. That's what I did this week, so you guys have that now. <laughs> no, that's basically well, what I, I did through the, the week, that, that, and wow, or, or paint, what more skeletons but skeletons. Skeletons. I got skeletons. down to the, the chariots but I, I needed to take a break <laughs> I do not blame you I, I did do th this little guy however and I, I got to play it. with the, the colors it's an octopus paints. for those of you that are listening to the audio version it's an octopus that changes colors and it's so cool and I want it <laughs> just saying oh um, buy, buy the miniature and then I'll do it <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, Sunday night, uh, No Pants and I played uh, some more second extension on the new section. Um, they added two areas with Tyrannosaurus Rex that basically look like they're on fire. Oh, that's um, safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, so uh, we were, it was the first time that we've been playing the game that we, from start to finish, went through and got every single one of the canisters out of the way every single one of the traps we did everything from start to finish so the whole map lit up when we were done it was like major victory major victory major victory major victory for every section um which was really cool um the um it helps when your game doesn't crash the uh, <laughs> I would imagine so. um so uh but we went through like it was it was really fun there's one mission that we haven't done yet that we're uh, hoping to do tonight um it should be pretty fun the, um, so I enjoyed doing it. Monday night, of course, played um, Call of Duty. We played Cold War um, and played some zombies. Uh, I I was very happy about it because the zombie section starts on the outside of the original building. So if you remember the original zombies that was at the end of World at War, um, when the credits ended, you had zombies that, that came up. Uh, that building you're inside of you're actually outside of and can explore. The inside of the building looks exactly the same. It was brilliantly done. Um, and it was just kind of a nostalgic feel to it. <clears throat> the, um, but I, I like what they've done with zombies. Like I haven't played zombies probably since World at War. Um, or maybe the one after that has zombies as well. And um, that one was okay where you had kind of a mission that you had to go through. Um, and that's kind of the purpose with this one. Um, and you've got different rounds. We got to like round 14, 15 before it became extremely overwhelming. Um, but, uh, I still want to play that one again. I think it'd be fun. But what I like about it is the fact that when the game starts, like when you first start cold war, uh, with nothing there, um, you're level one, we'll say, right. You can't unlock any of the weapons at all. So none of the weapons are unlocked at all. And you have to get to level four to be able to even start doing anything with the weapons. You gain XP for your weapons and zombies. So you can unlock without having other people there. So that's really fun. I enjoyed that. Um, and the other thing about it is you get to try out all the weapons. So if you're buying stuff off of the uh, off of the walls and all that stuff, you can kind of try out and see what you want to play with, um, which I think is a good concept versus having to grind through fucking multiplayer in order to be able to, to get the stuff unlocked, which a lot of us, like I like the multiplayer, but a lot of people don't. Um, and it's always irritated me that you can't play the damn campaign and unlock shit for the damn <laughs> weapons, but whatever. Um, so, you know, you've got people that are playing multiplayer and grinding the shit out of it. So it's kind of fun to do it with zombies to where I can, you know, a group of friends just having a good time. This giant horde mode as it comes through. Um, and I think it was really well done. Um, the other thing is, is I was playing a lot of Miles Morales um, and I completed it yesterday. Um I already already completed. Uh, I will say it's a standalone, but I also feel as though this was <laughs> very much rushed. Uh, there's a lot to do. 
Um, I went through and got a lot of the, all the extra stuff that was done. I went ahead and did all those, um, <clears throat> including a, um, the uh, side mission that's actually after you complete the game, which I didn't know was there. And I went ahead and ended my stream last night beforehand, but I went ahead and did it anyway because I was like, all right, I'm done. Um, and it was kind of a cool, um, cool one. Um, and if you played the original Spider-Man during the credits, there was like an extra thing that was in there. They add to that extra little tidbit to give you a run up to um, whatever the next Spider-Man game is going to be. And I actually like the premise that they can do with this because both both Spider-Men are in are in New York. They could actually set it up to where the next one follows Peter, and then the one after that follows Miles, and go back and forth between the two um, oh, of they, more they of a storyline between uh, their Spider family. Gwen. They could, what? Bye. What now? I'm sorry. No, they could bring in Spider Gwen. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a possibility yeah. as well. They could bring her in yeah. as well. I could definitely see them doing that because they kind of want to expand their their cool uh, spider people. people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, and, they, and you're sure. dealing with one studio, which is Insomniac, who makes great games anyway. Um, and to have them go in and and say, okay, every two to three years, we're gonna have a different different one that gives you anticipation. Oh, the idea. next one, Spider Spider Gwen, whatever. Um, and I, I think it's they there should be a lot of variety and i think this is this is where sony needs to look at it. they've done really good job with spider-man in general um with uh movies and video games over the last few years they need to stick with doing a good job on it um and i like the fact that the that they're separated like you've got the the video game uh stuff you have the into the spider-verse stuff and then you have uh, the cinematic universe, the Marvel Cinematic Universe that they're partnered with Disney on. I think that it's great that they're separating all those out and you get to kind of choose which one you enjoy doing and why you enjoy doing it. Uh, but uh, gameplay and everything else, I've got everything locked on the, the skills tree with the exception of the stuff that's available in New Game Plus, which I'll probably do off stream um, just because I enjoy the game so much. Um, but I feel like it was really well done. Uh, the other thing we did as well is Friday night we played Grounded and went back in to try to find the fish, the tadpoles, everything else. Um, there's another base. <laughs> um, and is it underwater? I found it. Yeah, it's underwater. Ooh. And um, let me tell you, um, it's fun to get there. <laughs> it's definitely fun to get there. And there are... Um, uh, and it, they did something unique, I guess, because of the fact that you are underwater. You know how normally wherever you die, that's where your backpack's at? Yeah. Um, Please tell me it don't, floats to the top. It doesn't float to the top. It starts where you originally started the game at. So that little indention dent uh, or dent the tutorial or area? At, yeah, that, that's where it huh. drops you at. It drops it at. It's very weird. I guess um, so I had like six like backpacks a... sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like an early pro or like an early thing they haven't gotten quite well, yet, right I, yet. There, I think there's a reason for it um, because as far as I can tell, there's not a, um, there's not a like bottom to the area that I was at um, to get to, like I was trying to swim around to. And I think it's just because it's easier for the player to be able to go back and do that versus on how you have to get down there. You'd have to get more stuff and you might not be able to pick more stuff up. Yeah. Um, well, that's why you just have it float to the top. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but they decided not to do that. So maybe they'll change it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that, that uh, would seem the easiest way. You just kind of, when you die, you float to the top. You can swim out. There. I mean, you still have to go back there and get it. Cause I mean, they sure as hell don't take it easy. If you die in the middle of a bunch of fucking spiders, <laughs> you still have to go there and get it. Hell no, they don't. Um, the, um, the other thing is to like the, the, the fish. I only saw one in the actual pond. There could be more. I don't know. There's lots of tadpoles. Um, and I also saw the spiders that are underwater spiders um, very quickly. Um, and then I left as fast as I fucking could because I realized what I was looking at. Um, they're about the same size as the Orb Weaver Juniors to kind of wow. give you a size. Um, okay. But the, um, uh, the fish... Um, is massive <laughs> compared to you. Like it's about three times the size of a spider, maybe twice the size of a spider. Um, so we're in between there. 
um, and uh, you get the same music that you normally would if it was something like that was coming at you, so you know you're being chased by it. Oh, it tries um, to eat you? I want to be friends with it. No, you cannot be friends with I it. I want to be. <laughs> wants you can want all you want. It. it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Gregor wants um, to be friends with everything except for the spiders. Yes. Um, and then, um, oh, by the way, you cannot hurt the crow. If anybody was wondering, you cannot hurt the crow. I know this for a fact because he landed on the bird bath and I was brave enough to go up and try to stab him on the foot. Um, but you can't hit him at all. So, and Magic he doesn't crow. eat you, So that's good too, right? See, one um, I can be friends with. Which I was worried with. about too. Um, yeah, you can be friends with a crow. You're done. See? Look. Done. Um, there's also a, um, and I would love to do this with somebody that was artistic enough to do it like me and that person were artistic enough to do this but they i there's actually a uh electronic etch a sketch oh, no. that's kind of setting over by the pond that they've introduced uh and it's great because one side of course does the horizontal the other side does the vertical so you would have to do it with a friend in order to be able to to make <laughs> designs but i guarantee you it's not going to take long before reddit other parts of the internet are going to be covered with people that have done crazy shit inside of a video game i i've, I've found that thing before it's going to start with, I drew a edge. dick on the edge of sketch. That's what it's going to start it, it with. It looks like a, a Frankenstein monster kind of Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. Um, so it's on the side. I had, not, I had not found that one before. There's stink bugs and stuff around it. And I guess I've just never been over there. Yeah, I, um, I found it running away from the stink bugs. <laughs> there you go. It's usually there how you, you find go. things. I'm going to run from this. And then you end up somewhere random in the forest. You're like, huh. I don't know how I got here, but whatever. At least I'm not dead. And then you die to a random spider. I am, so. I am glad they're progressing um, the game as much as they can and moving it forward. But um, I now have the, the spider gear. Didn't you have that already, Chicken? Mm -hmm. Spider stuff. Uh, you move a lot faster. Um, a lot faster. Uh, spiders are a little easier to kill because you can get out of the way of them quicker. Um, <clears throat> uh, bombardiers are a little easier to kill because of that as well. Uh, no pants has the ladybug uh, armor. Aww. Aww. And, uh, so oh, we've killed tons of ladybugs. That's so but, sad. Um, he's got the he's got the ladybug armor, and he's uh, he got hit one time by uh, something, and he was like, "That didn't even like it didn't even move any of my, my stuff. None of I didn't go down at all." And I was like, I, "Imagine not. You're literally a walking tank right now." <laughs> so. Uh, it was it was pretty fun though. We in, we enjoyed that one, but that's all I got. Chicken, you got anything? No, it's just wow and uh, Phasma as before you, I played a little bit of Slay the Spire, but I mean, I've talked about that game before. It's a very casual game that I could do while babysitting. <laughs> that that definitely <laughs> limits what we're playing right now too. So it's got to be something we can walk away from. Uh, well, you guys want to talk about some new stuff? What about you, Bucky? Sure. Playing anything? Is that it? That's the the wow and and phasmophobia. That's why he said earlier. Were you not listening to he, him? He he gets an opportunity to have you. And I said the same thing, but you gave me the talking stick, so I'm gonna give it back to Baka. He, he, he got it right him. afterwards. He was I guess second. I just passively tuned chicken out. So <laughs> yeah, I mean I said the same thing I earlier. Passive. Like, yeah, that's all I played passive. all week. You try to give me back this damn talking stick. Ah, uh, what are we gonna talk about? New stuff then, because there's. There's a lot of PlayStation stuff. Well, of course there is. Uh, <laughs> um, I, w I, uh, I will say, because we were talking about um, Grounded and Phasmophobia, which are two new games that are that are uh, new IPs and whatnot, and PlayStation boss is saying it's uh, investing in new IPs is very risky, which I get and whatnot, but you, you don't have to drop $100 million on every new IP that is brought to you. Like... You could take smaller risks. You don't. Not every game has to come to the caliber of uh, Ghosts of Tsushima, or uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, or Spider like Spider Man did. Into well, I guess that's technically not a new IP. It's it's been around for decades. Yeah. Well, they so. didn't have to buy a studio. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like they bought a studio <laughs> after the success of the game. Uh, yeah. They didn't have yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad they did, but they didn't have yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could you could do smaller games. You could try smaller stuff. You can do early access. 
and try and, and see what the community feels about. Mm-hmm. One dude is making Phasmophobia and is like it's made huge. as much money as you. Like you trying to invest into a new IP and this one dude did it himself. You just got to get the right creative minds, which I mean, maybe because they're all and old let, and they just are so great. stuck in their way. Let, let them be creative and, and don't keep sticking your, your hands in the cookie jar. I think that Sony's <laughs> looking at it, though. Chicken, you mentioned specifically Ghost of Tsushima. And there's, there's a few other games that are big ticket games that are very detailed and huge and gorgeous to look at and deep plots and all of this. And it's like, literally not everything has to be that gigantic in scale. And that's the problem is they're looking at it as literally every game needs to be a masterpiece that wins game of the year, like hands down, and not every game has to be that. It's not. It's not like we're the other. What? The other thing to consider as well when you're dealing with Sony is they have one platform to sell it on. Yeah, that's true so, too. Which if so they would do they, there, they've started putting hundred million. They started in branching it. to uh, to Steam because Horizon Zero Dawn came to Steam. Like just start breaking your catalog into the PC market. Like you don't have to do everything over there. Give yourself a year or two and then start moving some of your older titles to keep making that money over long term because I 100% I guarantee you this is a promise. If Sony moves games to the PC, people will buy them. Period. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, it. That's what 100%. I mean that's, that's probably the highest demand right now on PC is going to be Sony games mm-hmm. because exactly. Sony makes quality games and we mm-hmm. can't get them anywhere else. Yep. We can't get them. Hey. And right now we can't get their fucking consoles. Yeah. We'll so... talk about that in a minute. That's for damn Oh yeah. Sure. We definitely got, there's a lot of Sony news up in I here. I just, I worry that this mindset means we better buckle up and get ready for every game that we love to never end. And that's not a good thing means we're gonna have a god of war turn into assassin's creed where we get it every year or every two years we're gonna see more uncharted even though we've wrapped up the story and we're gonna see i mean the thing with not taking risks on new ips means that you have to reuse your old catalog until the wheels fall off and if you get to that point nobody's playing those games anyway what are you actually saving yourself money wise you're still spending money on developing games for a franchise that people aren't playing anymore because you ran it into the ground and that's, I mean, maybe I, I that's ag- not what he means, but that is how it reads. Well, I would agree with that, but I also would, I'd also say the fact that you're not going to get it every year. I you're not going to get it every two years with these games. Okay, no, you're yeah. not. You can't. It, Ubisoft, which who's runs Assassin's Creed, has multiple studios that they that they feed into that. Same thing with Call of Duty. They're reading in, and they, that's why we're getting a yearly release. Where Sony is is taking their time with their IP and making sure their IP is done correctly. Um, I feel that um, is it who does Gears of War now? What's the name of the coalition? coalition? Uh, uh, yeah, the coalition. 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 I feel like they're taking their time with it. It's too. I do feel that what needs to happen with what they've done really well with God of War is he still has his past, but they're moving into another section. So you, let's give him three or four games in this area, and then either moving on to someone else. So you still have a god of something, mm-hmm. um, not necessarily war, um, to where you can continue the 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 universe. It will say, um, and and it's the same thing with Horizon Zero Dawn. We're getting the second of it. I don't know how many games are supposed to be part of this, uh, part of the Horizon series, um, but it, it's going to be interesting to see where all this ends up going. And you can, they do have time to bring others in. Um, I think it was too quick to bring Miles Morales in, but they did it because they had a new console coming. Mm-hmm. Um, but that could have been more added to that. The story was great. It didn't feel short at all, but it, it was shorter to me than the original Spider-Man game was. Um, and that's what I don't want them to do. I don't want them to say every two years because then yeah. I get a shorter game than I wanted, right? Um, even if it was well thought out and well planned, it feels shorter. Um and I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see where it's going because I don't think that Sony, Sony's got Uncharted that they still haven't gone back to. Yet. Um, I would say yet. yet. I would say that's a series that they want to, but it's also, that's a, a Naughty Dog game, and Naughty Dog just put all of the time into Last of Us 2. So I think that it's they, that's a studio that can take one thing at a time, and now they're done with The Last of Us. What do they do now? If Sony's not looking Start for new IP. IP, if Sony's not looking for new IP, are they pressured to go back to 
uh, an Uncharted or continue on with The Last of Us and make a sequel that comes out relatively quickly. I mean, like, how much pressure does Sony put on these to get? I think what Naughty they Dog want? will do a new IP, but I think I think yes. Sony has enough faith in them um, to do the right thing because they they tell a very good story and they and they and they make very good games mechanically. Mm -hmm. um, so I I think you you end up doing it, and if they go back with an Uncharted game, I want something totally not drake related in any way whatsoever yes. i want it to be that was nathan drake's story everything that's on there i don't want it to be a kid of his i don't want any of that i want it to be to where i'm playing as a new character you're creating a new scenario for me but then you don't have and to call it uncharted i mean it's the same thing that we I, I talked think, about with i think the you Halo do series. i think i think that's why you have the nathan drake series of uncharted and then i think you still have uncharted and it starts somebody else the same thing with halo if they had finished the the plot line with Master Chief, you'd still Halo is still the universe um, that's there, um, and you would just be creating it with somebody else. I think it's the same thing. Uncharted is the universe and how it I guess how we it, look at it that way. out from there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just do because I mean, it, and under all the Uncharted, it's got a little uh, it's got a little a title underneath it. Yeah. Like you got Uncharted, and then it's like <laughs> actual title of the game. It's like Halo, but they 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 like, didn't subtitle Halo. They Bungie was it. like, I don't know what to name it. We're just gonna call it Halo, and then Halo <laughs> Two, and then Halo Three, and then they're like, Oh, Halo ODST. Well, that, well Halo that makes Halo sense. One was or Halo Combat Reach. Evolved. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, the first Halo did have a subtitle. That is true. So. Um, and Halo Four, Five was Guardians. Which one was Guardians? Five. Halo Five. 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 It's just yeah. that nobody actually that the Guardians wasn't used a lot, even in their promotional stuff. It all just said Halo Five, so you're like, okay, <laughs> I don't know. Right. It just seems like a a really iffy thing for Sony to be like, well, new IP is risky because it the way that it sounds, especially in the current climate, means we're about to get a bunch of reboots and remasters and continuations of series that may not need continuing and things like that. It just Sounds I'm actually fine iffy. with reboots, like they, what they've done with Demon Souls and thing, and and I think those if you're getting what they did with reboots God of War, are different. Well, remake, reboot. They would God of War would be a reboot. But I um, think that if you're getting reboots, no, instead that's not a reboot of either because that's a continuation new. of the. They but they but it, it stands alone, so therefore it can can be considered a reboot according to the, when they created it. They called it a reboot of the series, um, even though it's a continuation. I, I think. I'm trying to think of uh, the best example I could use for the reboot terminology. Uh, I can't think of any games right now. <laughs> the the 400 Spider-Man movies isn't considered a reboot for you. That, that technically would be a reboot. <laughs> like, you got your first ones, and then you start over completely different from uh, any ties to the original one. Like, uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake is just the same story, just remade in a new engine. God of War would be just a continuation, in my opinion. Uh, and you got your remasters and then reboots are when you were basically like, well, we're done, we're going to use the same title, and but this new game has nothing to do. Like Fable, that will be a reboot. Like it has nothing, well, I assume it has nothing to do with the previous ones, but it might. We don't know anything about Fable, so. Yeah, aside from uh, that it exists, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it could be same plot line, just better done type thing. I just don't want reboots at the at the stake of not getting anything oh, new. DMC, oh. DMC Devil May Cry is a reboot, a very terrible one, but it is a reboot. Actually, that, that is actually it's a terrible DMC reboot. It's yes. actually supposed to be a very good game. <laughs> Make sure you clarify on that. If you're a DMC fan, you're not a fan of the game. If you're a fan of video games, it's supposed to be pretty good. <sighs> So it's like okay. <laughs> you mentioned the they could have just th th done their own game. You mentioned the DMC thing. I'm just gonna throw this out here as a qualm because I mentioned it to you already this week. Oak, oh, they've been doing a lot of advertisement for uh, Devil May Cry Five coming to PlayStation. Yeah, five. Um, and everything, which I get it. It's been on PlayStation Four and Xbox One for a little while now on PC. But all of their advertisement is a spoiler if you know the series. So for if whatever reason you haven't played it yet, it's everywhere. You can't get away from what happens. Or, like, who's in the game. If you know the series, you're like, what? You totally, why are you doing that? Why would you do that? Why would that be your marketing? Why? I'm just 
I, little nitpick. I guess it's mine. one of those things where they've reached the point now. It's like this game's been out for this so for when so long, and out? people that are gonna play it are people that have already played it, so they know. But Maybe you're right. Let me a see lot of when times, that game came out. It's been out for a year. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, that's, I guess that's a little quick. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have, put, especially if people didn't buy it because they knew that the new consoles were coming and they were holding out for that. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's a pretty big reveal. Plus would be would be maybe acceptable. I'm still not a fan of that because I don't like spoilers anyway. But yeah, but three years plus maybe allowing that in there because you'd be like, oh, you loved the game so much before. This was you know up for game of the year in 2016, 2017. You know, yeah. be like, yeah, I get to get it on my new PlayStation or I get to get it on my new Xbox. Those games came out last year. I, I don't. <laughs> Although, to be fair, 2020 has felt like several years all crammed together, so maybe it just feels like it's been Amen long enough, that. you know? Yeah. This has been the longest the decade ever. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Sorry. That it feels like it's only been 10 months. Personal qualm. My bad. Uh, but. <laughs> all good. I, um, I'm trying I, to. We were talking about the remakes that were on there, and Demon Souls is one of the remakes that's there. Uh, is Demon they Souls added a remake a... or a reboot? That is a, a remaster. It's not remake. a remaster. They built it from the ground up, so it would be a remake. They built it from the ground up. It's just a remake. Then okay. it's just a, yeah, then it's a I didn't, remake. I've never played Demon Souls. Obviously, with the amount of times you die in that game, you know already that I'm probably not going to... That's not my cup of tea, but I wasn't it's sure just, if that was a remake or a... It's just the Actually, original the... Dark Souls. Okay. Like in the article that we have, Demon by the way, Souls. they have a, um, uh, it actually has a comparison between the two. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. um, yeah. Uh, but they added a, um, a door that was in there. But you um, had to, basically like, was a mis you had to be looking for it to find it because apparently it's like down an alley behind some trash and, and then there's an illusionary wall that you have to walk through in order to even find this thing. It's like, who, who found this? What were you doing? First of See, all, me, <laughs> if you make a... if you remake a game, people are going to scan every mm. square inch because they want to see every piece of it, and they and love it. To be fair, I, I do too. It, when they put in stuff like this, I look at it as an Easter egg. The original Easter egg was put into an an Atari game, and you literally had to know what to do to get down to that point. And all it was was the, the dude that created the game's name, but it. But it still was cool because you had to be able to know what to do, what puzzle you had to solve to do this. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of a bragging rights thing. And I love the fact that the Internet was like, what is this? What do we need to do this? And then people figured it out, like a community of people figured out what needed to be done. And I think that's cool as shit because yeah. you do have people that are passionate about Dark Souls and Demon Souls games to where they're like, all right, let's figure this out. You know, this is awesome. And I think. It Honestly, took them if you're less than do a, a week remake, to find it, too. You should. Like, it's a what now? It took them less than a week to find it and figure out how to open the door. Because it's a locked door. It's like, that, I, I, how do you do this? I, 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 want, I want more secrets, things like that. Like Because, first of all, secrets don't last very long with the internet now. Like, it, it sucks when, you know, people work on things like this. And then the internet fucking detectives are like, S solve it in one day or a couple of hours. It's like, oh. Okay, because everybody can share so much information so quickly, yeah. and the speedrunning community, which I mean I don't know if they were part of it or whatever, but man, they will hit that shit so hard and figure it out so quickly because there are a lot of big brains out there, and I mean huge brains out I am there not that, one of them. That, that that break everything down so quickly, yeah. which is pretty pretty damn awesome but uh like I, I want something that's you know you open up this door and then there's more secrets and different things and bosses you you got to kill bosses in a specific order to have them drop a certain thing and you got to get like a key. hidden like, dungeon in a way right yeah like, yeah a like so, dungeon with keys well i mean this game just came out like this week so who knows what's act what <clears throat> hasn't been found yet i mean there's a possibility yes. that those things do exist and just they Dude, haven't let me been. tell you if they give me like a ready player one style game to where like i have to figure it like all of us are trying to figure out how to get from just the first level over to the next part and then like everybody's working together to make that happen and it might take a while to like think about that for a minute like Hell yeah. <laughs> uh it's like well this is has this game has 60 hours of gameplay and that's because of the puzzle solving that you have to do but really it's only got two hours 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, like the, with the it's internet, like, I think that people would be on that so fast that just like Chicken mentioned, it'd be completely solved between the the collective think tank in a couple of days. Oh yeah. Because there would the, be the in, in Ready Player One, there's incentive for people not to share their findings until after they've you know figured it out. In this case, there's no incentive to not share because you're the big brain that figured this out. So here's what I found. Mm-hmm. The think tank has gotten incredibly, incredibly huge. Over yeah. The years. Oh, Internet has sure. made us smarter and dumber simultaneously. But that's yes. you know <laughs> finding right. these these things in Demon Souls all assumes that you actually got your PlayStation Five. Uh, when it shipped out, because apparently in the UK there's an issue of uh, ones that have been ordered from Amazon coming, and it's stuff that it looks like to me that somebody has opened the boxes and resealed them because they're sealed with the clear tape instead of the Amazon tape. Um, but they're getting all sorts of random stuff like cat food and air fryers, which I mean, cool free air fryer, but play play play. I paid for a PlayStation. It's not really- not really free if you paid for the PlayStation. If you're still getting your PlayStation and you get to keep it, it is, though. That's that's assuming that oh, Amazon wants to take the high road on that, which Amazon said that they're going to make it right and they're trying to track down everything, um, all the missing ones and everything, but it sounds like there are people, they're either uh, contract Amazon drivers, um, Amazon employees themselves, somebody along that delivery chain is uh, stealing them, it seems. And well, that and that's even if sense. you were able to get it to order in the first place, well, because you've true. got you've got actual reseller groups that are out there that uh, one alone, just one alone, is responsible for thirty five hundred PlayStations not not being on the market right now. That's part of the resale market, and if you do the math based on what the the, the average resale value is right now, which is about five hundred bucks, that's five hundred dollars profit on each one. That's one point seven million dollars worth. Of money that they're going to make off uh, reselling these and the way they're doing it is they're actually taking bots and you as an individual can actually pay $30 a month to have them help you get to this by using these bots oh and they're making money off you that way plus they're selling them on eBay like they're they're figuring out a way to do this and the way I look at it is a lot of a lot of people like to blame Microsoft and Sony for this which they are to blame a little bit because they're, they don't have any type of restriction but at the same time retailers have, are a major problem with me like in my case i think it was thursday when the xbox series x came back on again i tried to get one myself at 201 i had it in the 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 actual cart to say place order with all my credit card information everything ready hit it and they had bogged the system down so much that by 233 so 30 minutes later i still hadn't had one and it told me they were completely sold out they bogged the walmart um, site down so much with those bots and it is a it's ridiculous that there's not a system set up a Kafka system of some sort to keep the bots out people are going to adjust don't get me wrong but there's got to be something there i think it's because right we're now, early in in this kind of mass interest as far as saying anything that we're still in the early phases of anything on the internet sounds ridiculous but when you think about how quickly we have put the internet you know to the forefront and how important it is to us now it is still like the wild west days of the internet essentially oh, where yeah. we're still trying we're barely, to figure out the internet how things... is barely 20 years old yes. we are 24 so I think part years of that comes into the from internet age we're still in this territory of oh we didn't expect this to happen we expected there to be a big number of people because people want it, but we didn't really, really consider people setting up whole bot farms that are going to try to buy this at the same time with the sole intention of essentially DDoSing and hoping that it goes in their favor. Well, and I, I think it's expedited even more because of the fact that you do have a global pandemic where more people are doing online sales. Mm-hmm. Those people are looking at it, so they're increasing the amount of bots that they have because they know that's the only way people are going to be able to get them. And then you have someone like Sony it says all of our sales are going to be online. There's not going to be any type of brick and mortar version of this. Yeah. Um, I think that it, it's it's just causing one issue after another. Um, I, I'm very interested to see where this goes from here for the next launch. I mean, we got another five to seven years before the next launch hits. Um, yeah, probably and towards see the if, end of this decade. Yeah, and see if there's an adjustment that's made with that. Um, we, you know, I I. No, we didn't really run into a problem with it in the last group, but you could also physically buy a copy of the actual system um, without having to go online before. 
Um, and so this is kind of a unique year. You know, I guess that's part of the reason people thought, well, maybe 2021 is when they'll actually release and not 2020. Um, but they went ahead and did it this year anyway, so we'll see. Um, but 3,500 of those, I, I'm sorry, you're shit bags if you're doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, honestly, I get my, you getting like, one Sony or two extra, put... but 3,500? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. At Scal that point, scalpers Sony's... have gotten what worse with the the internet over the years. Yeah, they they just need to make it so that that you can't resell consoles for like two months after the initial release. So this guy is just stuck with this many PlayStations until the next couple of cycles, and then the Not demand isn't going to be that. as high. Like six months. Well, you got to be careful on how long you get to dictate on how uh, before people can sell their consoles. Which, uh, to be fair, if they want to do six months, that's reasonable too, because. You know, you get six months with your new console. If you don't like it, then you could try to resell it again. But it, right. it will so six months deter sounds good people like by, this. by then, it's um, they, they had made more, and, and more people will own them. So that that will cause the the, the pricing for pay people trying to, to resell them to go down. Mm-hmm. Right in the six month period, yeah. Yeah, exactly. like, I mean, it, it, at that point, because I mean, thirty five hundred consoles, people. That's a lot of fucking consoles these people stole stole which in my opinion because they uh, they didn't use them for there's, gaming there's some needs. kid that for christmas was planning on getting a playstation 5 and it, or mom that doesn't know anything about how the internet works other than the fact that she knows how to get onto it go onto the website and order shit probably sat there for 30 minutes like i did and was unable to get it for their kid and like that's i mean to me that's the suck part about it is it's like you're doing shitty things and now that same mom who could have bought it for 500 bucks right then is debating whether or not she wants to spend an extra, let's say three to $500 just so her kid's happy for Christmas, you know, and it's, you know, it's just a shitty way to do it. But I am going to say this. Um, I posted another article for everybody that is, I think is kind of just desserts and karma in a way. Um, even though I'm not a big believer in karma in this case, mm-hmm. kind of am. Um, is the fact that one of these resellers in Toronto, uh, I don't like how it's being done, but at the same time, you're kind of a shit bag and you're getting hit by a shit bag. Um, people are being held up because they're dumb enough, first of all, to, with the resale to do it in person. Mm. Um, and so people are robbing them of their PlayStation 5s and their Xbox Series X because they're oh meeting them God. in parking lots. Like a drug these, deal. It, right? Um, and so in Toronto, that's what's happening right now. Um, I, I not for robbery in any way whatsoever, but at the same time, yeah, kind of robbed, you know, a lot of people out of a chance to be able to get this console to start with. So if you don't like the game, you know, you might want to jump, you know, get out of it, <laughs> but, yeah. you know, and these, the these other people are going to figure out a way to jump. You put bad shit in, you get bad shit out. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it just, it is what it is. Yep. And I, I just, you know, and I think it's, I kind of think it's funny too that it's happening in Canada of all places. Like a place you wouldn't think of this happening is a place that it is happening. Um, but uh, yeah. So people be desperate right now. And I, okay. all I'm going to say to anybody, like I, I got lucky with my PlayStation 5. I wasn't able to get the Xbox Series X. I'm fine with that because I have a, a PC to play it on. Um, which I'm actually, I think that kind of is going to lead in to me is going to lead into the next section, which is valve has noticed, um, a growing number of people that have been using a controller over the last couple of years. Yes. Come to my dark side. And I think that, I think part of the reason why is because you have people that are moving to the PC market. And so you've got an excess amount of people and they've been used to a controller and they're moving over to steam in some way. And so they they're still got a controller in their hand. Yeah. Um, and, it feels and I think that's good, pretty man. fucking awesome. Depending on the game, I will use a controller too. I've got mine right here, and whenever I pick up a game that I need a controller for, I just grab this thing, plug yeah, it in. Beast. Like Sekiro, I, I I use a controller. There's absolutely no way I could use a uh, mouse and keyboard. That just feels really, really, really awkward for me. But I mean, I, I use a controller. There are certain games, like I think one of the games that they talked about is uh, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater. 90% of people that played that game used a controller. Yeah. Because there are just certain games that feel so much better with a controller. Well, and the game was originally made for a a console. 
Like it was originally, mm -hmm. it was never available mm -hmm. for PC, if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, until yeah. now. But fighting so, games are, are you, I, I, I can't do those mountain mouse and keyboard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like they're just certain games, and I, I mean, it's perfectly fine. All, all the computer is anyway is just a giant, expensive, more expensive console that you get to, to tamper with as you get to go through and not get in trouble. Right. I just nope. like my so. my controller. I'll use it for everything that I can. Unless a game says you cannot use the controller, I will. <laughs> yeah. Like Phasmophobia is looking to do uh, a controller. I'll probably uh, still use mouse and keyboard because that's how I learned to play the game with that one. But... See, that's games. the same way with, with like Sea of Thieves. I still play on a controller because Alpha and Yay. Beta was on. I played on controller, because I was playing on an Xbox, and so it's like that's that's how I play the game. It doesn't. I've tried to adjust to it, but I am not as fast as I am with a controller on that game. I just feel like um, a controller is is more intuitive to me, and is less. I I find that I lose immersion playing with a mouse and keyboard. As opposed to a controller. And I know that sounds weird. I can see that. Um, that is absolutely that. bizarre. But it is. I mean, like I, I said, I, like I know it sounds because it's, weird. It's more like the controller feels more laid back. Like instead of sitting up and focusing, I can just kind of lean back and play. But I think, but I think that's like, where she gets yes, the immersion. That's... You're looking at the gameplay version of it where you're standing up and leaning in. She's looking at it relaxing and being part of the world. Yes, if it's if it's all contained of, right but, here for me, but I mean, it's my brain can me. put myself into the game better than going, okay, did I hit the right button? How many number pad things do I have? You know, uh, things like that. It's that, like that's... all of my buttons are right here and I don't have to think about them. Yeah, see, I've played with controller for so long that there is none of that. Like there is so much muscle memory built into these hands. But that's what I'm that saying. I know is the exactly muscle memory means I know where the buttons are. I don't have to think about the buttons, so I can fully insert myself into the game because automatically. Where she does with the mouse and keyboard. Yeah, with the mouse yeah, and I keyboard, but I, I have I'm to just think about where my hand is at or how the mouse and the mouse clicking. Like I know people are like shooters are more precise with mouse and keyboard, and you are 100 percent correct. But it does not feel as intuitive to click a mouse button as it does to pull a trigger on the controller. I'm sorry. Uh, it does. It does. It doesn't for you. It does. It doesn't for me. Yes, sure. that's what I'm okay. talking yeah. about. This is the all next specific gun to me. that I fire in real life that I do this with. Okay. <laughs> Which we okay. may really? be getting that, to. That's you know? not much different than that. Digital guns. That's no, but this is how a real gun works. And so when I'm pulling a trigger on a gun and I'm, I'm doing this, it feels good. I mean, I've never shot a real gun, but I, watching the animation in game is like this seems more like pulling the trigger on the controller seems more immersive to me than it, clicking it really the mouse depends button. on how much time you've put on to each mm -hmm. like i mean it feels perfectly intuitive to me and i'm sure it does to baka too like it feels perfect like having that just light tap that click into a bang just mm -hmm. feels so good because you you can feel it at least for people who have been playing with it for years I also, and years and years and years. I would, but I mean, I could do the same thing with the controller too. Like it feels, depending on the game, it feels perfect. I would say that also, like, and this is just a completely superfluous addition, but for the immersion side of it, I I like the rumble pack in the controller too. I agree with because that Because it gives you keys and- If you did you know, a rumble sorry. mouse, it'd be a little bit different. Ooh, that'd be weird. It'd make a lot of noise if it started rumbling. Well, I guess your yeah, no. controller does if you hey, just have hey, it sitting hey, on the desk. Like, well, throwing you your, 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 your a shot it. off, you're like, oh god. Yeah, but well, I mean, I, I like do, the rumble, rumble pack, too. Feature Go ahead, because it, if it was doing the, the rumble feature on, on the mouse, it, it, it would start jittering the, the, the mouse a bit, and, and it, it'd screw up your, your aiming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well... So what That's... you said was controller for the win. I got you. That's all I got. We got a rumble no, no. pack and we can shoot. <laughs> you can only shoot with help. Don't start with me. Hey, back hey, off. Hey, I played. Don't play it now, buddy. I played no, Overwatch on PC too. with a controller and did pretty well comparatively to everybody else and had no aim assist with it. None. So I don't want to hear play, it. Hey, hey, if you want to get defensive, play ranked and prove me wrong. I was silver. Play, uh, I mean, I didn't play like you, super hardcore because I'm already too competitive in that game, and I really nobody wants to be around me if I'm going to play an actual you just play, hardcore here it is. game. You play one I, I match. married you. You play one match. We figure out how to attach a rumble pack to his mouse, 
Hell and, no. And you do a 1v1. No aim assist. Let's see who wins. I'm just saying Aaron chicken wanted to take why, me. Why do you got to handicap no rumble me? Pack. You have no rumble pack. Okay. She could turn so, hers off. Yeah, but we like the rumble pack. We're saying it's a better. It's hey, more if you want to play with the handicap and the extra handicap, you're more than welcome it's not to. A, it's not a handicap <laughs> you, to have the rumble pack. It is absolutely well for the mouse. If you fucking if you mouse put a goddamn be, a vibrator point, on this goddamn mouse while you're trying to aim, you start to the mouse. <laughs> scrolling off the screen. You're like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> it's, it's my whole argument. Rumble pack makes it more. <laughs> well, <laughs> it makes it superior to the mouse because because we have other <laughs> stories to get to. I'm gonna go ahead and move us along with a talk of a per, a first person shooter on PC. Um, so Titanfall surprise launched on Steam. Not Titanfall 2, the original Titanfall, and it's hot garbage. It is mostly negative. Yay, hot garbage. You can barely play the game, apparently. Like, it it has a hard enough time trying to load you into a multiplayer match, and once you're in, you're most likely going to get kicked out within the first minute. Like, it's just, it's not supportive. Why did they, There's it, a, like, an that's audio weird, bug. because it's been on EA for years. It's been on their servers for years. You think a transfer to Steam would not change that? Apparently, the trailer for the Steam put it in public light where everyone's like, hey, this game is hot garbage. Do not look at this. And then uh, networks like this pick it up and they're like, hey, <laughs> did you guys know that Titanfall is hot garbage? Well, and my, my <laughs> question no. is, why why are they reselling this? Like, a lot of people have mentioned that it, it feels like EA is throwing up some abandoned wear um, on Steam and trying to make a buck off of it, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like they're doing. Because that's, that's Titanfall 1 and they've moved all way past that since now you know are they still supporting because apparently they're not with it coming out like that why would you do that where's the well, quality control it, i i'm actually surprised they did it anyway because to be fair you don't need titanfall one um there are there's a little bit of a plot line there that the they, even though there's no actual campaign well i mean if you can't connect um, to, to the online tell you about servers the world, long enough you're not going to get the camp the story anyway so what does it matter <laughs> yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna get it but the but then you have but like Titanfall 2 has an actual campaign. It's very well done. The the multiplayer is more advanced than what we had in, in the first Titanfall. I don't understand why you'd put that one on there anyway. And if you remember, Titanfall 1 is the first one that we ever remembered of people going into hacker jail. You oh, yeah. That? You got yeah. you got caught yeah. hacking and you were playing against other hackers. So yeah. maybe that's why? I don't know. <laughs> like, Well, if you saw that game pop up on your steam recommendations and thought oh i'm a little nostalgic for that maybe don't just don't stop yourself right there save yourself the time uh, steam just look at the reviews people if you're using steam you best know how to use the review system yeah that's true too I mean, which i think is probably one of the best things about steam is that a lot of the reviewers and steam doesn't ever like normally doesn't try to hide shit like that if if something is bad you bad. best damn believe the reviewers are gonna fucking bomb that shit so those people that use the Epic Store, a review system um, is to allow you to know whether a game should be purchased or oh. not based on other users playing the game. Yay. Just so you know. Throwing that out there. You got, but, do they have their shopping cart yet? They got that shopping cart? <laughs> they do have a shopping cart. They got a shopping awesome. cart. Awesome. That's great to hear. <laughs> I'm glad that they've got finally got their shopping cart. Well, yep. in a, what uh, is my 30% pay for? Features. Mm. And some, some positive <laughs> news that is maybe going to be a little exciting to us. Um, there's going to be a new Among Us map. So, yay, hey. they teased it. And by teased it, I mean there's yes. like one picture. <laughs> but another map well, is always have good. A, a, a it looks guy swank, with, though, like with a, the wooden uh, floors. What like, I like it. That there's also what looks like new costumes because one, yeah, one of the guys has the uh, mustache thing going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, I honestly, I didn't even, my brain was so busy looking at the picture that I didn't think about the costume part of it. But yeah, you're right. It does look like there's some new costumes as well. He looks like he's going to tie somebody to a railroad later on. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's pretty actually, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see? <laughs> That's a game that well, we would I mean, play a lot more often if we readily had eight to ten people, like just at a drop of a hat. But we <laughs> have to put effort I into have, getting that many I have people so together. So much fun with that game. Yes, we'll have I to play again soon. Game. 
Don't don't worry. I'll put together another night of uh, Among Us. Yeah, we'll have to do that. It's it's hard because I like I'm usually the fucking the one who puts things together. So I've got to try to wait until I've got enough pieces moving that I can finally get them all on the board together. Yeah. Well, um, other quickie news: Far Cry Six is gonna launch in May 2021. It looks like um, Oak sent me that earlier this week, and that's cool. Um, that's according to a Microsoft store listing, though, so I wouldn't be entirely shocked since that's not a, an actual announcement if that gets moved. Um, especially depending on what else I'm, is coming out around it, because you know how games are. I They're like, the game I don't want to launch with we'll other probably people. probably hear from Far Cry. Probably. I, I hope it's something different. Please, god damn, give us something different in the Far Cry. The, the formula and the recipe that has been going on for the last damn 10 12 years of Far Cry is getting real damn stale now. Yeah, but it's like, because it's that's what It's literally the is. same thing with different bandanas. It's, it's, here's <laughs> the story. Like, the stories are always different. They're going to be similar because you're going to have one, you know, a dictator and then all of their captains because they've got to have all of the bases to take it's over. Dictator, but I mean, captains, it's, it's outposts, Far Cry. It's pretty radio much... towers. It's the same you're fucking asking, thing. It's the same thing as asking Call of Duty to not be a first-person shooter because you're tired of first-person shooters. It's that's just the game. Like that's how it is. You. That's it's why you play that game. Is, though, you can literally set it up though that you have the dictator and you're told that this is an evil dictator. Indications show that possibly that could be the case, but then you find out that you're actually working for the evil people. Huh? They played with that in Far Cry the... 4, though, where it's like, here are yeah, two the sides to be on, and those guys weren't great so, either. The, the gameplay would be, be the same. It'd be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to take out all, all this dude's captains and, yeah. and stuff. And, and then at the end, it'll, it it would be, be that, that stupid plot twist. Yeah. I, well, I, just I am the that, dictator. <laughs> that's just the gameplay of Do that series. Do something different. God damn, it is not that hard to try to innovate in between your games, but there really has not been any variation. From Far Cry to Far Cry? Uh, they, they did take out yeah, radio Far Cry towers 3? in Far Cry 5. You had like, to do, they found something like, that worked in Far Cry 3, and then they just basically did it over and over and over and over and over again. They're like, yeah, this works. But I'm, just, I'm glad that they're not releasing it, like, every year. Like, there's a good, an okay gap between the I have no the idea how they're series. not releasing it every year, because it because looks like they don't do play anything. It. I mean, that's, that's the thing, is then people wouldn't play it. But that's, honestly, think about it. That is the key Ubisoft gameplay. What do you do in Assassin's Creed? Here's your plot line, but here are the things that you have to unlock around the map and the captains that you have to take out and things like that. And what do you do in Watch Dogs? Well, here are the things that you have to unlock around the map and the captains that you have to take out. And what do you do in Far Cry? I mean, that's just the Ubisoft core gameplay. And Actually, I'm going to complain universe, about it's all the same universe yeah. anyway. I, I'm going to complain about all of that because apparently the only thing in their fucking universe <laughs> is Captain and fucking Watchtowers. Like, I mean, I don't know, Two. like, a, a main bad guy. That's not true. Your, your watchtowers and your forts. Too, man. Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> to the, be the 100% hunting aspect. fair, you don't have to take out all of the little camps. You only have to deal with the captains in the sequence of the actual storyline. So in the plot line, you're taking those out. You don't have then to do any of the Then you can burn through the story the in, like, five minutes. What? You can burn through Well... Then you can burn... You go from point A, you go talk to the main guy, you go talk to the person. Person says, I need your help to relieve this area from so-and-so bad guy. Actually, I'm going to take that you back. You go and Thinking help the people. Thinking about it now, it, it was contingent. So I'm, I'm, Far Cry 4, I know for sure, you had to unlock so many of the, I want to say it was the bell towers, but it wasn't everything. It was like you had to have so many bell towers unlocked so you could see the map before you could get to the second half of the map. So your story did stall out if you didn't unlock those. And I can't remember if they did that in Far Cry 5 or not. I mean, they don't have bell towers, but I can't remember if there was a, you have to do X amount of these activities before. I can't remember that one as well. And, and hell, they even fucking reused some of the maps for their fucking Far Cry. They literally just used the same topography and then put something over top of it to make it look different. Which was Far Cry Pi Primal and I think Far Cry 4. They literally took the same topo topography and then changed what was on top of it. I wonder if Somebody that's because it is supposed to, like, it's all one universe, and so it was one of those things where it's like, well, here's what it looked like in the prehistoric times before, you know, 
and that now you're playing in the modern, on which is not awful. That's kind of neat, well, and of all, it also saves you money. You are not the public relations, so stop giving them ideas <laughs> for making hey. up for their shortcomings. Look, they've already done it. Take that they've in. already done it. They don't need to do it again. And anything that we need to see in history, we can see through the lens of Assassin's Creed. We don't have to do that with Far Cry. I'm just saying, in this one instance, that's that's not awful. I won't 100% fault them for that. Well, I mean, and, and theoretically, you could make one, you know, hundreds of years in the future, and you reuse one of the maps again. Look, now you're trying to get Ubisoft to make like Cyberpunk, then. and we don't need that. <laughs> uh, we, we can't even uh, get all this All I'm Cyberpunk. saying is that, that I, I totally get the taking risks on new IPs and whatnot, but there's also... A, a, a different argument to that where you can you can deviate at least a little bit from your god is the same thing over and over and over again you can evolve your games over time but it really feels like ubisoft is like i am way too afraid to do anything different. i will admit yeah, that but i would argue uh, go ahead all game systems do that i mean think about it this way first three th first three halo games all three of us uh, all four of us love right you shoot the Every aliens I mean, they're fantastic that's it you start Solid off game killing play. the covenant, then you move to killing the flood. Go to go to the second one. You're two different characters. You're killing the covenant, then you go to killing the flood. You go to the third one. You're killing the covenant, and then you're killing the flood. It's the same fucking game over and over and the, again. But we enjoy and the, it. And the gameplay and the gameplay is fine. The gameplay loop is solid in those games, and the story evolves through all three. Now, the story did not evolve ever in any of the Far Cries. It's big bad guy, little lieutenants outposts and you do the same thing every time you open outpost you kill outpost you move on to the next area you do the same thing in the next area and then you go to the next game and you start over and do the same thing like <laughs> you know i mean the there's best part no part about this is chicken <laughs> you just don't have to play the game and yeah then it doesn't that's matter. true i mean far, hey, I, I like far cry it's made for people that love car far cry boom done. i'll admit far cry is one of like i have games that i classify as my junk food games because they're they're comfort food but they're not necessarily good and I love Far Cry for that. You let me get into a Far Cry game and give me the bow and let me try to stealth, like, let me attempt to stealth up on people. Because I always run bow and shotgun are my two uh, main attempt. weapons and sniper rifle if I get a third option. Um, those are my main weapons. And it's because I want to use the bow that feels good in those games to try to shoot people in the face. And if I can't do that and they see me, then I will just pull out a shotgun and bow them down. And that's why I play those games. It's just junk food. That's all it is. <laughs> Hey, and, and that's all good. Scenery's gorgeous. Well, that's. I, I wish they would take it. Like, I, I wish they wouldn't apply that junk food idea to all of Ubisoft's games. Oh, well, like, they're all trying. Of their gameplay the loops deal, and all of their games is the same. To to play the devil's advocate on that, they are trying to do that with Assassin's Creed, and you are mad that they are doing it with Assassin's Creed. If they would just that get rid true. of the Abstergo thing, like just completely remove yourself and start making games focus, like in. I've watched a little bit of Valhalla, and it's literally, like, I have no idea what the developers were thinking trying to fit the Abstergo part into that game. Is it still in? I thought they got rid of it after a while because no, it stopped No, it is still sense. in there. Like, they, they literally made a really good game, and then they just stuffed it in there as hard as they could. And it's like, this part really, really doesn't feel like it needs to be here. And, and then it draws, like, you're in it, and then it pulls you out of the immersion. And then you're back in, and then it pulls you out. It's like, just, just don't do it. Well, I'm glad you, Far Cry doesn't Ubisoft do that. Will... Far Cry is just straight junk food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's fine if you're gonna be junk food, be junk food. Well, and Far Cry's also gotten to where you know like what they've, you are. they've started trending towards the absurd in that one too. I mean, the last game let me have a bear named Cheeseburger as my friend, okay, and a mountain lion named Peaches, and a dog whose name I can't remember right now because it was the first one. I think it was Boomer, and I mean. All that matters to is to be fair. I think that That's one's going to be the. Uh, I, I think that one's going to be the outlier. Like I, I think Far Cry, what was it, five, and, and Far Cry Primal are going to be outliers, and then Far Cry Six is going to take a much more serious. Well, thing. I don't know. With Far Cry Four, like, you started trending that 4. way. I mean, look at Pagan Men. Just generally anything about him. It was that dude starting is to a trend fucking towards amazing the character. First of all, he, he, is, he was he's in, so good. I love like, him. As a I mean, bad guy. you talk about a well written bad guy yeah. that guy was a very well written bad guy and i couldn't how old is that game before i say what how old is that game hold on the far cry 4 hold on yeah 2012 13 at the beginning of the consoles uh 2014 okay 2014 it's been six years 14. so get over your spoiler shit uh spoiler 
I have never felt so good shooting a rocket launcher at a helicopter as that dude smugly trying to fly away. I let him go. <laughs> oh, it felt so good. He's like, I'm away. I'm going to let you have it. And I'm like, no, you don't. Boom. I think and a then, lot of people made that choice, then, but I'm like, I'm also the bad guy here because I worked for the other people. So uh, whatever, live your life. Bye. Uh-uh. Because after I was done with that, because I made my choice of who survived, after I was done with that, so main bad guy is dead, second main character that you work for is dead, I go to find the last lady that I worked for, and I was like, oh no, bear meat, oh no, and then a fucking cougar come out of the forest and killed her. I was like, oh no, nobody survives. Chicken was like, (laughs) scorched earth approach to that one. All three of those people did not deserve to take over. <laughs> they all are removed from their positions. That's that is my take I on that I let everybody game. live. Like, I, I worked for Sabal. I let Amita go, and I let Pagan go. I was like, bye. Y'all enjoy the rest of your lives. I'm ruining my own right here. Bye. <laughs> that, yeah, definitely different. Scorched Earth, they all die. <laughs> they're, they're all gone. Small, you're gone. You're out. Uh, uh, Pagan, you're blown up in a helicopter. And uh, uh, what's her name? You die by a cougar attack. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember, too, she was walking out of the, the fort, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and she just ran up and killed her, and I was uh, like, oh. Well, to bring it back to the guy. Oh, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm just going to go I'm back to the news because s- we're at an hour and 20 minutes. So I was just trying to... Um, <laughs> that was supposed to be a quickie thing. We got a little sidetracked. <laughs> uh, we will not see... Um, Oak mentioned the Game Awards coming up, which is always in December. We will not see Halo Infinite. Uh, they want to basically skip this and uh, start fresh after the holidays together. Which is, okay, then. Um, uh, two things on this one. You know you've made. You know your award show has made it when one of the big titles skips it. You're like, oh, hey, cool, I'm big. Uh, and two, <laughs> I guarantee they're still working on it with the backlash that they got from their last trailer. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, they was. shouldn't have released that. And I get, I get that there's a difference when you when you add ray tracing into something, but that was just that like, was pretty. Poor. Somebody should have went. Your your game shouldn't have to rely on ray tracing to look good. It's that whole ideology of you only get one first impression, and somebody should have been like, this shouldn't be our first impression. Because it's the internet. And I know that, as we talked earlier, we're still in the early days, quote unquote, but you know what social media is going to do with anything that doesn't look perfect in a series like Halo. Halo, Yeah, they will destroy you into a meme. They they still have a chance to to redeem themselves, because, I mean, look look at the, the Sonic movie. That's true. I mean, is that's why the, they're not going to be here. Is like Chicken said, you know, they're still working on it, and and I imagine oh, yeah. that's what it is. Is we haven't gotten it to a point that we want to show you again because you tore it apart the first time. So well, and I think oh, it's yeah. part of the reason they postponed the game too, is so they can get the, that second impression. It's kind of like when the the Sonic trailer came they out the second it. time, and we got to see what he really looked like, and we're like, oh, cool. You know, it's that thought process, right? It's like let us re push this marketing out the right way and go from there because the very first trailer they ever showed us with master chief on the thing we all got excited it's like okay well cool and then they showed us the footage of that and went okay never mind yeah it was like hey this is oh no 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 Mm -hmm. it was pretty bad it was pretty bad it's definitely beer goggles on beer goggles off you know we're like yeah oh no that was not as awesome as i thought it was um, and then the, the last piece of news, I, I can't remember if this is going to be any of your qualms from last week, Oak, or not. Um, but the whole idea mm-hmm. that a lot of the games that are coming from PS4 over to PS5 are not running at 120, uh, FPS and it's not, these are the ones that are on PS5. I mean, <laughs> it's apparently it's a Sony different? thing. Apparently <laughs> things that are going from Xbox to Xbox series X or S or whatever the stupid name is, um, those are able to be patched. So basically you patch it in for it to be able to run better with Sony. They want complete rebuilds essentially, or you just don't. And that's, that's the problem is everybody's like, we, we don't have time for this rebuild thing that you want us to do. So we'll patch it. It's going to look great on Xbox, but here it is running at less than great. I mean, it's not like they look like potatoes. This goes back to what chicken said last week. It's the difference between a hardware company and a software company. When you have a software company, they make things easy because that's part of their job to make it easier for developers so they can stuff and get on there and get taken care of as quickly as possible. Microsoft has its faults. Don't get me wrong, but Sony 
time and time again, we've heard from developers over the years mm -hmm. how hard it is to make games for their systems. And it's continuing to be a problem. There is no reason your newest release should be at 30 frames fucking per second. I, there's no way. Uh, no way. But the film 30 quality. frames. Uh, like, it, it boggles my mind. Like, when they make games for Sony, do they not put in a settings option? Like, it, it's like they... they like whenever they make games for consoles, I, I think I think Microsoft's a lot better. There's a settings they option a lot in there, of, yeah. Like I mean, I'm talking about like quality option. Like, can you change it from 30 to 60 on it? I know in some of their games you, they you allow can, you for like okay, performance so like, and things like that. We'll use Miles Morales for an example of it. It actually tells you what the setting does. So where one says fidelity, the other says performance. It tells you this is what this means. Where one of them is at 30 frames per second with the ray tracing on and a few other things added to it. Where the other one turns all that shit off and runs it just at 60 frames per second. So it would be the equivalent of playing it on basically the, the PS4 Pro versus the PS5. And that's what irritates me is because it's like, why can't you get ray tracing so the quality looks good with the lighting and it's smooth? Like it doesn't make sense at all. And then on like, for instance, Demon Souls, it has the same two settings, but it doesn't tell you which one's which. You're just it doesn't guess. tell you what it does. It just says one performs better, one looks better. It doesn't tell you what the frames per seconds are. And you know, there's no, it's not like PC where I can just pop the frames per second up in my left hand corner, or right hand corner, or whatever. Yeah. It's not set up that way. So it's like, it's fucking irritating. Cause I'm like, I want to play this game the best looking it can get at the highest frame rate that I can get it because I'm a gamer. And I like pretty things and I want to play this. I don't care, you know, which Demon Souls is a very pretty game. And so is Miles Morales. Don't get me wrong. It didn't take anything away that it was in 30 frames per second. It's just irritating that I bought a brand new system that should be a minimum 60 frames per second. And now you're telling me my PS4 games, if I put them over, they're probably going to be at 60 frames per second. Well, fuck you do. Guess what? It on the PS4, it was at 30 frames per second. So I'm getting a little bit better performance. You know, Jesus Christ. Like, it's just stupid. It's absolutely stupid. We're having to have five, this argument five, in 2020 five, with the ways Five hundred dollars for, for a minor upgrade. What was that, Baka? Five, five hundred dollars for a minor upgrade. Yeah, I yes. just, I think we've had discussions in the past about, like, what what needs to be standard and what's okay to let it slide until we, you know, we've had the consoles for a while with new console generations and whatnot. But this one I, this definitely, if you're, if the standard is expected to be a certain thing, you should be at that certain thing for your minimum. I mean, like, yes. how do you, how are you going to tell me that your console, you're going to improve your console at any point, but you can't even start off at the base expectation? When, when your competitor, Sony, literally is up right now for the best invention of 2020, is it? Is that a thing? A best invention? Yeah, category? Series X. Seriously, straight up, is for the best invention of uh, of 2020. Today I saw it the I'm other in. day. I'm like, you know why? Because they made a powerful fucking console. They made something that people went, look, I can pay five hundred dollars for this, and play the best as close to to what my friends that have great PCs are playing as possible. Meanwhile, PS5 mm -hmm. is sitting there going, and we made you PS4 Pro too. Cool. Yeah, you know, that's what the PS5 just, feels like a little bit right now. I, I I really think that it is part of like their software problem. They the the companies just can't can't make the games right. Can't get the settings high enough. Like I feel like the console has the power to do it. It's just it's too hard to develop it to that standard. That's not even know, to develop it. Also it makes me wonder for if Sony. part of the because if you think about it this way, right now we've had Cyberpunk that's delayed. Three times, times. <laughs> right? It's, it's delayed three times. It makes me wonder if this delay is because of the PS5. Because they're trying to get the best quality they possibly can, and they're having to redo shit to yeah, get the PS5 Yeah, they're having to build to a whole so other get, version we of will it know the based, We'll know based on the patch that they have to do on each one of the consoles. Because I guarantee 100% there's going to be a mat. Like, I'm talking huge. Well, yeah, there's going to be a patch. But patch how will you know everything. if that's... Because what, the article that we discussed earlier um, is that, that you can't... Or, well, this one specifically, is that you can't just patch it over. 
It's that you have right. to completely rebuild the game, and so they're having to rebuild the game. Um, that will for be Sony. a huge patch. Mm -hmm. No, it'll be a, it'll like, be a download. I mean, That's the thing is that when you put the disc in, at this point, discs are just license keys. So when you put the disc mm -hmm. in your machine, you license that game, you will have to download the game completely, and it will be a huge download just like it will be for Xbox One, but you are downloading a different version of the game on PlayStation 5 because they had well, to build a, a specific though, one. It's a possibility, though, the, PS, the PS5 version being longer or shorter than the Series X because of the way it was built. Because if you're having to build it differently, it could be a it could be lar larger or smaller. So it, it is also it what's what's interesting to me is is you had if you all remember the last console war in PS4 and and the Xbox One when they were released, what did all the Sony people say? Oh, we've got the most powerful thing. It's the most powerful. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever. Xbox comes out with the 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 Xbox One X, PS. Four comes out with the pro version of it somehow miraculously both of them know that the other one's working on the same thing to come out the same year every every time which drives me insane but they got corporate spies everywhere xbox one x more powerful machine than the ps4 is series x comes out more powerful machine than the ps5 is stop counting your shit of how powerful it is if it can't fucking run 30 frames per more than 30 frames per second stop it all I'm saying is my uh, my my PC here is more powerful than both of them. It uh, is. Yours is too. Hers is, and so is Baca. Well, Baca's might be. I, I don't know what his specs <laughs> are mine, these days. It, well, not not combined at, at this point. No, I, I haven't upgraded it in a while. Mm. Yeah, like we we just upgraded our ours are really like definitely above grade on the, the consoles now since we just upgraded them. But I right. mean, if the PS5 is this good. It needs to be standard this good. You can you have no excuse anymore to have your games running at 30 FPS. No excuse anymore. Yeah. I mean, originally it was. I'll give the benefit of the doubt if it's one of the, the games from PS4 and they can't upgrade it. I'll give yeah. them the benefit of the doubt. Perfect. But if it's a PS5 I will not game. do it on a brand new game. No. Hands in no. Uh, no. no. Well, you you, you no. have you have the technology. You can do it. I'm sure Griff wanted to call the call it now because we've been here for I do. far too long. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go play uh, some Skyrim because, I mean, I just need to. But uh, I would like to point out that that is a 2011 game that runs it at 60 frames per second on my Ooh. PC. Boom! Not on the not on PS5. It wouldn't, but no, it cool. wouldn't. Oh. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> cool. Could it? Possibly. Sure. I mean, Bethesda could put out a version of it, but well, that's uh, the thing is. Their machine will handle 120 frames per second. So make sure that everybody understands when we're saying this, that machine can handle it. It's just not handling. Yeah. That's what's irritating. It's just irritating. Anyway, <laughs> we appreciate everybody that hangs out with us each and every week at Infinite Respawn. As always, you can check us out on Twitter at Infinite Res PC. Check me out personally at MDB Oak Tree. Check out Griff. At Griff Slinem. Check out Chicken. At Elite Chicken 313. Check out Baca. Nah, pocket pickle. Also, make sure that you go to Griff's YouTube channel, mm -hmm. uh, where she's currently playing through Skyrim at 60 frames per second, as she said. Um, so if you want to see a beautiful, beautiful game and an amazing human playing it, oh, then thanks. please, by all means, <laughs> go to her YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that sub button as well as the little bell so you know exactly when all of it goes uh, live, which she just had one that came out today, folks. So there was that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, make sure that you're on there. She sends about two or three out a week. So um, you got a little bit of catching up to do, but not too much. It's not like it's Red Dead where you've got like oh, seven years. Oh, not yet. It's not, but it's going to be. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> give, give it a couple of months and there'll be like 500 episodes. <laughs> Just turning my channel into so a you... long play channel. <laughs> there you go. Uh, wait until she gets the the rest of the uh, refrigerator version of the game. Mm -hmm. um, oh, shit. <laughs> Also, make sure you go to twitch.tv forward slash elite chicken 313. Chicken. chicken. I'm waiting for know, it to come I know in. You ordered, I, I know you ordered a game. so It's, uh, what, it's what ordered and I'm waiting for it to come I in. Hopefully, this ideally, it would be tomorrow. That it I think in. it's supposed to come in, yeah, tomorrow on Monday. So we well, can expect the way, over the Thanksgiving holiday, maybe see. Yeah, definitely. Because I, I want to throw it in. I've got a, uh, 
a 10 foot hdmi cord coming too because i don't want to have to move my playstation it's it's in the living room over here and i'm gonna hook it up and i'm going to run the hdmi cable to my computer and then to my tv so that i could just leave it over there <laughs> and i don't have to move <laughs> hey, it every time that's one way to do it mm -hmm. hey that's that's one way to do it <laughs> Also, make sure you go to twitch.tv forward slash MDB Oak Tree, where you can check me out just about every day of the week, with the exceptions of Wednesday. For Infinite Respawn, I'm Oak Tree. I'm Griff. I'm Chicken. I'm Bucket. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs>